Okay, so I don't know if we hit it on, on, on the uh, video yet or not, but he talks about how Sims has, has got one of the most, uh, has some of the most uh, most DLC, most expensive DLC, DLC in the market. And dude, have you looked at this, this train simulator thing? Now you want to talk about DLC that's out of control? Now this looks fantastic. I, I like I'm like really interested in this, but look at the reviews here. Mixed. There's a reason why this says mixed. Come down here. You look at all these packages that they've got here, right? 24, 24, 24. But look at this right here. You want to see all the downloadable content for this game? There's 467 of them. Let's open that up. Now you want to talk about DLC? This is DLC up the wazoo right here. 20 bucks, 16 bucks, 20, 20, 19, 10. I mean, look how long this list is. I'm sorry, man. Sims 3, Sims 4. <sighs> this the the train simulator has look at the see look at this. In order to add all of this to the card, it's 8 thousand dollars eight thousand dollars okay I, I know you're saying that their their sims was among several games but sims 3 and sims 4 is not as bad as it could be just look at this right here right <laughs> you want to see something that's really bad this is bad. This is really, really bad. It would be different if it was like maybe one or two bucks, but no. Look at the prices of these. And these are ex pretty expensive. Um, but that just made me think of something. Flight simulator. If I can click on it. Yeah, Flight Simulator. This one's been known to have... You, know, you want to talk about maybe the pioneers of DLC? Here you go. Flight Simulator. I mean, they've been doing DLC for the longest time. Airports and scenery and all kinds of stuff I mean I mean they may have not pioneered DLC but I remember scenery packs going back as far as the Commodore 64 so there you go and so all right 254 is how many they've got Oop, that and that's not it <laughs> this is interesting what is this it's a rush flight tales they have people flying? What is this? This is interesting. Okay. I know that's not what this video is about, but I haven't played Flight, Flight Simulator in a while. Um, okay, so that was the wrong thing to click. That's what I wanted to click. So, here we go. Look, look, at, look at all of this here. Look at all the prices. I mean, and this has been pretty standard for Flight Simulator for a while. For If you want to get a plane, it's... 17 20 bucks sometimes more getting airports or scenery packs this stuff is insanely expensive i mean okay so it's not as expensive as the train one it didn't have as many but yeah i mean dude it's not as bad as as it could be i'm not trying to justify ea's business tactics like I said, some of it's shady and some of it is legit. Um, and it's gotten to the point where it's just muddy waters and you can't tell what's what anymore. But 
Uh, yeah, okay. Let's let's play Flight Simulator. Wee. All right. Um. <laughs> Where are we at? Oh. I'm like looking for my my graphics here. See, I don't do any jump cuts with my editing. My goodness, I'm like totally lost. I don't even know where I'm at anymore. Well, that's my. There we go! Yay! I found found the right thing to click on. Now I got to find the that. All right, cool. So let's go back here. No. Assuming that they were at, at some point planning on releasing these as DLCs to resell later. No, I don't think that's what happened. My guess is probably that the game was rushed out and they didn't have enough time to put things like pools in and toddlers. Yes, I agree. I totally agree with you on that one. Um, and I can sum it up in one word and it's called shareholders. Shareholders... They want action. They want to see. They want to see the bang for their buck. They invest in the company. They want to see something going. And so when they have those shareholder meetings, um, if if they want a push for a certain product to get out the door, then guess what? They're going to push it out the door. Um, and there are let's talk let's say movies in hollywood where they have a certain release date and i know some movies get delayed but then there are some others where it's kind of like nope it's getting released on this date no matter what um and de definitely television shows are, are definitely fall under that category where uh, like one episode is filmed like during an, an entire week um and they've got a deadline that they've got to um, meet so I think there is a very, very strong argument here on what she's saying that um, I think it's a combination of several things. I think, one, they, they were rushed. I think they were rushed uh, to get the game out the door. Um, I don't think they had enough time to, to get it out. Uh, maybe because they hadn't gotten to that part of it yet. Maybe they were focusing on something else. Um, hey, let, let's talk about um, No Man's Sky. I mean, there there's a great example for you right there. Um, that game was rushed out before it was ready. And what happened? All oh, the fans backlashed against that like nuts. I mean, the backlash was bad. But they continued to work on that game and update that game. And several updates later, and we're like um, maybe 10, 10, 10 or 12 days away from the No Man's Sky next, um, which is going to be a huge update. I've, I've been playing No Man's Sky since I was able to get it on sale at GOG. And this is, uh, I think, like after the Atlas Rises update. So this is like the update before next. And it's a great game. Um, with everything that they've added into it, it's a really great and fun game. Um, I think it's definitely a lot closer to what it was meant to be uh, when they wanted to release it. But um, if you remember they were getting like death threats and all this other stuff. Why aren't you releasing the game yet? Blah, 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 blah. And then they release it, you know, when it's definitely not ready and people didn't complain anyway. So I think we're looking at the same thing here with Sims 4. I think it was, it was, I think it was rushed out probably because of shareholders, um, probably because there was a deadline or maybe the deadline was moved up. Um, you know, I don't think that they planned on selling it separately. I do remember at one point where The Sims 4 was meant to be a different type of game. Um, 
I, I like I vaguely remember that it was meant to be like an online game and then they decided no we don't want to do that and then they used whatever engine that they were working on and turned that into the Sims 4 which is why which is why there were things missing in there like the the cars and the police and fire and you know all that stuff um, so I think that's uh, I think that's uh, very possible but do i think that they purposely left that out because they're like <laughs> we'll sell them pools in another expansion no i really do believe that they they rush things out and she made points too on where they're cutting corners and yeah i see that too i mean one on one one of my games that i'm playing my sim will, will walk and then it's like it like jumps and sometimes it jumps back what the heck is this so yeah, I definitely see the cutting corners, um, and I do agree with what she's saying as far as it being rushed out. Because that's nothing new. That has happened before. We especially see that on online games where things are rushed out, and then they're, well, fix it in. We'll fix it afterwards. In terms of the game at launch, not having those things, that was so disappointing. Like, that was really, really bad. And it seemed like for us as players, really, really slack. And Which is exactly why I didn't buy Sims 4 at the time. <laughs> really difficult to understand. Honestly, I really don't think they were holding them to like release in a later pack. I don't, I don't really agree with that at all. But I do agree that it wasn't up to snuff. But yes. So I am in agreement with you. And the reason, uh, another reason why um, I'm, I wanted to do this video is I've been reading some of the comments on De La uh video, and I think people are being a bit too harsh on her. Um, I think they both make great points. Um, but I think they're being way too harsh on her in regards to... Um, well, you just get all of your expansions and stuff packs for free. Um, of course, you're going to say the things that you're saying. That, you know, that, I think that's unfair. I think that's un unfair to, to, to say to her because you're, you're making a judgment call on her. You don't know exactly, you know, what she's thinking or how she's feeling. Um, just because they're giving her the games and stuff for free doesn't doesn't mean that she can't relate to what you know people are saying. I mean, I don't know. I just I think that's pretty unfair, honestly. Um, now me, I I can tell you right now, I I don't get anything from EA. <laughs> I don't get anything from these videos either. I just make them for fun, so. Um, I don't get anything, but uh, let's continue. They did reintroduce the toddler stage for free. That's only because fans had an entire uproar. This was one of the only times I've seen that. But the fans were mad when this all came out. Of course, the older games like Sims 2 and Sims 3, they had expansion packs. They had the... Did <laughs> you see how she rolled her eyes? <laughs> Careful what you do there, Delagressi. I don't know, when you get old like me, you can't even see your eyes anymore. They, they squint, you can't even tell if you roll your eyes. The stuff packs, but they were hardly as bad as it is in Sims 4. I mean, the issue alone is going to single-handedly ruin The Sims. He hasn't explained any difference between the expansions in The Sims 1, 2, 3, and 4. No, the game wasn't just quote-unquote rushed out, and they had plenty of time to add pools and toddlers into the game. The okay, so... So, like, he's saying they have plenty of time to do it. But, dude, man, I mean, you're not on the, the, the programming team. So how do you know what they've been doing for those that amount of time? I mean, like I said, from what I understand, they were developing a different type of game. And then somewhere along the line, that was changed. And, and then they were told to take what they had and turn it into Sims 4. I mean, come on, this is EA we're talking about. I mean, what they were working on that one Star Wars game. Um, I forget what the name of it was. Everyone was looking forward to it, and then they decided to close that studio down. Um, 
or like the Mass Effect Andromeda. Like, I guess that was supposed to be a good game, and then something... Someone... I don't know. <laughs> the ball dropped on that one somewhere. But, yeah. we. I don't think we know the full story, and we'll never know the full story as far as what happened. But to say that they have plenty of time to do it, We don't know exactly what happened behind what happened behind the doors, uh, closed doors. What do you want to call it? Behind the scenes. These things were in previous titles. This game came out five years after the last Sims game did. That's about the average amount of time that it takes them to get a Sims game out. So if that's actually the case, how come they didn't have time to include these things in the game this development cycle, but they magically had time to recreate everything and do so in previous titles within virtually the same amount of development time? Well, I've got an answer for that, too. Um, I think... They were getting, it goes back to them, that deadline thing that I was talking about and having to rush the game out. They knew, I mean, come on, the developers, you know, the developers, they like games just like we do. The ones that don't understand the gaming are the shareholders, the people that are up in their, their suits and ties and sit around the big table and make, you know, all the asinine decisions. Um, the game developers, they're with us. They're, they're with us. They they like games just like we do. They want to create a game that they can be proud of that they would want to play. All right. But guess what? Those game developers, they answer to someone. Right? They answer to managers. And those managers answer the managers. They answer the managers. They answer to someone that's hired that uh, has to answer the shareholders. So, you know, there you go. I mean... It, stuff all rolls downhill and so i think um the game developers they're like uh you know we don't have toddler the toddler stage in in this game right people are going to be really mad or we don't have pools in this game people are going to be really mad about that yeah i understand i get it but we got to get this game out on this date there's no exceptions so but are you know teams B and C over here are, are working on the pools, and we got team uh, E and F over here working on the toddler stage. When they get them done, you know we can put them in as a patch. So not everything in a game is developed together; it's all developed in as pieces. And I don't think those pieces were ready. But it's not like they could just say, oh, no, wait, the game's not ready. No, the shareholders were like, I don't care if the, I don't care if it's ready or not. Get that out by that certain date. That's, that's how it is with shareholders. I mean, you answer the shareholders. I mean, that's the price you, you pay for going public with your, with your business. And here's why I honestly think that toddlers and pools and stuff were cut out of the game. Obviously, they can sell something to you much easier if it's something that you actually want in the game. These two things were fan favorite features. They could easily sell this back. Yeah, but there are other features that are more fan favorites than just toddlers and pools. I mean, yeah, having toddlers was cute and all, but how long did the toddler stage last? Really? I mean, how honestly did it last? It really does not last that long. I mean, yeah, that's a cute stage. It definitely needs to be there. But is it that big of a fan favorite over, like, pets or seasons? I think that's debatable. Um, it was definitely missing, that's for sure. It definitely needed to be there. But I don't think they cut it out on purpose. And pools? Yeah. No, I I don't think the stuff was ready. Back to millions of players. I honestly think that toddlers were meant to come in the parenthood DLC for the game, but of course that's just an opinion. I can't prove that. But let's break this all down logically, okay? Let's break this down into Which 
not to be harsh or anything like that, but there's a there's there's some things in here that you're saying that you can't really prove. It's all subjective. It's all subjective. Like saying, well, they have plenty of time to do this. Yeah, but you don't know what happened behind the scenes unless you were there, unless you were there on the staff um, and you know exactly what was going on. There's no way to know. So um, it's it's all s subjective. I mean, it's they're they're good theories. I mean, you definitely you know have got good points, but there's always another side to the story. Two options. This is going to make more sense to some people. Option A. They took basic features out of the game with the intentions of selling this as a DLC in a game that ha already has well over half a thousand dollars in DLC packs. Okay, this is where I was going to pause and show the thing on, on, on Steam. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry, Sims does not compare to what I just showed you guys on Steam. From a company that is notorious not only for being greedy with this franchise, but has been facing in actual real life consequences for the last year over their tactics with other franchises like Battlefront. Or option B, the amount of time that it took to develop this game while remaining consistent with the amount of time that it took to develop the previous titles in a game that had no major benefits, upgrades, or different development time taking away things added into the game, but this was just not enough time for them to create two basic features of the game that were present from launch in previous titles because this game was somehow rushed. I would be... In yeah, I, I could rehash what I talked about, but I don't think sims 4 was supposed to be sims 4 when it was first being worked on i think i think it was supposed to be something else i remember at a time that they were doing a sims online type of game that they were supposedly hiring for and then somehow that uh fell through and then sims 4 came out of nowhere so that's what I remember anyway. So I don't think we have the full story. I don't think any of us have it. Interested to hear like comparing the packs and if we are getting less, but he's not saying anything about that. So you would love. So that is true. We are getting less in the packs. Um, but to be fair, um, in some cases, there's more data on each of these objects now than there was in previous ones. I think between Sims 3 and Sims 4 is debatable. Um, they, whoops, <laughs> they may have, like, uh, like, they might use the same, like, resolution, uh, texture, polygons, you know, whatever that Sims 3 did. But something like Sims 1, you know, where, uh, you could have a ton of extra objects compared to, you know, like Sims 2, where it each object required more data. You have to consider that there. But, um, but yeah, uh, definitely it's more very noticeable between Sims 3 and Sims 4 as far as we seem to be getting less. But in some cases, it's... It's all, um, I, I see a few extra things and some of the things that they do do that we didn't get before. Like the whole thing with the calendars um, with Sims 4, I thought was fantastic. I thought that was a great idea. Um, and the fact that you can make your own holidays. Like, wow. How awesome would that have been in Sims 3? Would have loved that to hear me compare the DLC packs from these games that keep coming back and tell you if you're getting less, okay? I'll do that for, you know, the pets pack between three and four. This is just a basic, you know, glance over here, but... Okay, so yeah, I blacked out there because we don't need to go into those details. I, it's pretty obvious between Sims 3 pets and Sims 4 pets. Heck, let's throw Sims 2 in there also. Um, that you were getting... Sims 3, I think, def pets had definitely had more than what Sims 2 had. And then Sims 4, cats and dogs, well, they were specific. They didn't say Sims 4 pets. They said Sims 4 cats and dogs. And I think that might be like, okay, well, you know, our fans want pets. 
we can't give them everything, so what are the two most popular things we can do to focus on? Um, all right, cats and dogs. So I think that is... And that's pretty much where that went. So The Sims 4 has sold half as many copies in two years compared to The Sims 3. So that is true. And it still won't touch The Sims 2 most likely. That, that seems like even more of a stretch too. It took The Sims 2 eight years to sell six million copies. The Sims 4, apparently it took two years to sell five million copies. So that's definitely not right. Oh man! Voila, this argument is entirely invalid. It I don't even know anything about building games, but I know that you can't not, you cannot do that. You don't use old versions of games to make the new one. So yeah, you're you're wrong on there. Sorry about that. He is he is correct on this. And nothing is more obvious than EA Sports. <laughs> I mean, literally. I mean, that is like one game where you buy it for one year and you're probably good. You don't have to buy it for like another 10 years or something because like one year into the next year, it looks almost exactly alike or, and so I'm, and I don't buy these games. I like, I have like maybe an EA sports game, but it is like EA or like, you know, football NFL 2003 or something, you know, it's like an old version. I don't, definitely don't I definitely don't have this um and yeah they literally they like release a new one every single year and it looks lot just like the one from previous year it might have like one extra thing or they might remove one thing or two things and then bring it back some other time you know so that way they're always getting you to buy it the sports games like ooh, look at new feature you got this year oh we lost this feature but don't worry it'll be back the following year so yet it is very very evident in in the sports games and that has if i'm not mistaken they have caught some flack for it too but they're still making them so people are buying them as long as people are buying they're gonna make them just like dlc as long as people are buying the dlc people are gonna buy it you know but they're gonna keep making it you know nothing about creating games, and I'm glad you admitted you don't, because apparently you also don't know how often that older games have textures, models, sounds, and other aspects of the game taken from them and put into new games. Sports games and games in general that are released yearly work almost exclusively on this entire basis. Think. I okay, so yeah, I was going to do some, some talking there, and I pretty much already have. So yes, I do agree with what he says. Um, I don't think that Sims 4 is built off of The Sims 3. Um, I do think it it's uses elements from Sims 3, but it's definitely not the same game engine. Um, it, I think it shares more in common with Sims 2 than it does 3. Um, but, yeah, in order to save time and stuff, especially if they're being rushed, I'm sure that... Um, a lot of the uh, animations and models and stuff that were used um, just need to be formatted and tweaked a bit uh, to, to bring in The Sims 4. So, I mean, just look at some of the animations in Sims 4, like with pets, and they, they look pretty darn close to what they did in Sims 3. And there's some things in Sims 3 where the animations looked very close to Sims 2. I think the only argument as saying uh, things from Sims 1 were used in Sims 2. Maybe sound effects. <laughs> in some cases, maybe the textures that were maybe uh, uh, cleaned up in high definition or something. I don't know. But uh, I think maybe the one exception would be from Sims 1 to Sims 2. That, that was a very big jump um, in terms of... Uh, game platform there and no the episode doesn't actually end here i didn't realize how long this video was until after i stopped recording so i decided to break this into several parts the next part is on the screen so go ahead and click that to continue thanks for watching and hanging with me and your comments are always welcome